Check right now. It's 532 on your Monday, and it's a lifeline in a tough time for a virtual community for people especially vulnerable during a pandemic and the isolation that it brings. Sure has been. And we've learned that an app built around sobriety and headquartered in Cleveland is offering some of its services now for free. Jade Jarvis live this morning to tell us all about it. Jade, it is called Sober Grid. Yeah, that's right, Katie and Kevin. Like all social media, it's an entire community in the palm of your hand. But when you sign up for Sober Grid, everyone has the same goal in mind, staying sober and helping you do it too. It's a supplement to any treatment plan. We are there to help them apply the tools to get and stay sober. A free virtual community, more than 300,000 people all across the world dedicated to sobriety. People post uh, anything from tips. Uh, you can post a burning desire and ask people for assistance, and it's amazing. Ready to help you through your latest crisis. I call them sobriety threatening situations. At a moment's notice, something many in Ohio need. The latest data from ODH says in 2019, more than 4,000 Ohioans died from unintentional drug overdoses, 7% more than the year before. People might even say one sentence, you know, like, I'm not having a great day. <laughs> and then people just jump right in. That access is all free. Then there's an extra level, a peer support recovery coach, someone like Tammy Dubin, who knows exactly what you're going through. You know, when I have someone who has kids right away, I'm like, oh, my, usually there's, <laughs> I get where you're coming from. I call it the get it factor. It comes at a cost, but Sober Grid is able to offer that access free in some cases. We have various programs um, that uh, we have through various grants and, and various other programs that really offer free coaching. One of those grants is just for Ohioans. You need to have been diagnosed with opioid use disorder and be a person of color or in an underrepresented group. Communities that Sober Grid says are struggling disproportionately. ODH says in 2019, black males had the highest drug overdose death rate in Ohio compared with other groups. There's also a lot of stigma sometimes that's attached and um, to um, asking for and receiving help. And um, that, that can be very uh, specific to uh, persons of color and, and those um, in underrepresented groups as well. Now that grant covers the $99 per month coaching costs through September of this year. And the executive administrator says the support that Sober Grid offers is vital right now with the death rate of the opioid epidemic at its highest in 10 years. Reporting live, Jade Jarvis, News 5.